This is the Hispaniolan Selenodon, found on the island of Hispaniolan in Latin America. Over the years, the Selenodon has drawn the attention of St. Albert College professor Adam Brandt. Brandt helped publish a paper on this unusual critter, and what he found caught the eye of an Australian documentary company who is producing a show featuring 72 dangerous animals, Latin America. But basically, we confirmed that the, the Selenodon is about 76, 78 million years old. The timing means the Selenodon survived the asteroid impact that ultimately wiped out the dinosaurs millions of years ago. It's all about size. Brandt describes the Selenodon as an insect-eating creature, 30 centimeters long, weighing one kilogram, and having a pointed snout and beady eyes. They were able to just survive because they could find enough food, whereas the dinosaurs couldn't. Um, and also, also they're fossorial. They, they tunnel, they dig underground. Uh, so they were all probably able to avoid uh, the harsher environment. Um, uh, they were probably able to avoid whatever dinosaurs might have been still, still scavenging. Selenodons are nocturnal. And interestingly, they're venomous mammals. They're one of a few, of a hand, handful of venomous mammals in, uh, in the world. What if a human were to be bitten by a Selenodon? Uh, in terms of, of humans, not much. Probably on par with like, a really bad bee sting. Brandt is hoping his work and the Selenodon will be featured on the documentary series. Similar programs have run on Netflix and the National Geographic Channel. The show is expected to air in early 2018. In the meantime, Brandt will continue to follow his passions at St. Norbert College of both teaching and research. I'm interested in conservation. I try to do my research uh, using DNA uh, in a way that will help local conservation agencies, international conservation agencies, um, give them information, give them tools that will make their efforts, their, their, their ability to, to preserve a species. I've always wanted to be in science. I've always wanted to, uh, to eventually figure out I wanted to be a professor. I love teaching. I really love engaging with students. Uh, I've got uh, about five students now that have, that have gotten on board with me. The students here are great. So the faculty are great. The, the administration and everybody, they support research. They support teaching. It's, I'm just finding this to be a fantastic place to be. I'm Mike Counter reporting for St. Albert College.